everyone, I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and welcome to Flossmas number nine. Today is December the 9th and it's 16 days till Christmas, okay? And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt, okay? Because I have to do two in one day. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you will join me and have fun talking about Christmas and all the wonderful trivia that we have and seeing the cross stitch and getting a free pattern and opening my three advent boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. All right, yesterday's trivia question was, oops, um, what takes the place of the Christmas tree in Italy? What takes the place of the Christmas tree in Italy? The Yule log. So the Yule log takes the place of the Christmas tree. All right, so for those of you that got that correct, congratulations. All right, trivia question number two. Who is determined on Christmas Eve to find out how Santa Claus gets down the chimney? Does anybody remember? That would be Big Bird, the big yellow bird. <laughs> so um, that was on Christmas Eve on Sesame Street, if you want to go back down memory lane and watch that. <clears throat> so those were two fun questions. I just thought they were fun and not too hard. Okay, so we'll get some harder ones today, hopefully. Well, it's bad hair day. <clears throat> okay. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is show our free pattern. And you know, I'm not a cat person, but they are cute, but I just can't get around them. But anyway, this was called Merry Christmas Grumpy Kitty. <laughs> and it's so cute. And look at him, he is just precious. All right, love the Santa Claus hat. Anyway, this is from Brooks Books Publishing, and I will link this below. And uh, they have loads and loads of free patterns. So um, this is one of the, the, what they called new. So I guess it just hadn't been up there because it's from like 2013, but it's, it's cute. And I hadn't seen it around lately. So I thought, hmm, I'll just show that one. But Merry Christmas, Grumpy Kitty. So I'll link it below so you can go stitch it. All right, and the next thing I'm going to show is the Mystery Cookie Exchange last year from Hands On Design, <clears throat> and I'm showing my finish. This is how I finished mine. Um, I did it on fabric from my stash because um, I had plenty, it was like a, um, hmm. yeah, I wanna say it was 32 count linen, but um, I can't remember the color. But anyway, it was something that I had in my stash. And then I had some blue rick rack in my stash, so I used that. I think I got that at Joann's. Or I may have just had it for a long time. The baker's twine came from Hobby Lobby. And the little gingerbread button came from Hobby Lobby. It's a little wooden cutout, though. And then the cookie cutter came from Hobby Lobby also. It was in a set of three. It's a little larger than what I wanted, but it's kind of cute. And I ordered the little board from um, Be Stitch Me. No, I'll try to link it below. I can't remember because it's been, whoever it was that Kathy Haberman used, um, that's who I ordered the board from. But I just thought that was just so, so cute. And it, it was a mystery and it came in little parts. And let me tell you, that was a lot of stitching. The longest thing was the quilt garland at the top with the stars. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was just precious. And it's in my kitchen most of the time. So uh, this is my finish for that. All right. And then next, um, <clears throat> my ornament for the tree this year was a, another Mill Hill ornament. And this is called uh, St. Nick Stocking. And it's one of the charmed Mill Hill ornaments because it's got little charms that go with it. See the heart on his hat? And what you do is you stitch the candy cane and you stitch the present uh, separately. And then you, um, you sew them on, on the back, and then you just put your felt on the back. I didn't put felt up here, but, um, and then you make your, uh, twisted cord hanger, which I didn't make mine long enough yet again. So I had to, uh, use a tree hanger for that. But this one was so, so cute. I liked it. Lots of beads, lots of beads, but you do the cross stitch first. It's on perforated paper. And um, there's a string. Hmm. 
Okay, so on perforated paper, and then you do the beads. Fun, fun, fun. Everything you need is in the kit. This one is still available. All right. Uh, okay, so that does it for my uh, finished objects. Now, what am I working on? <clears throat> okay. I saw this one, and I was just like, oh, this is so cute. You know, anytime Santa Claus is riding over the village or the houses or whatever, I got to have it. And this is And To All A Good Night. Isn't that cute? By Stitching With The Housewives. So, uh, the pattern's easy to read. It's in color. And I was doing this on Fabrics by Stephanie. And I think this is like chalkboard or slate. I can't remember. And I've got And To All and some reindeer. Let me put something behind it. Uh, there you go, and to all. So I'm making pretty good progress. But I've got a long ways to go. There's a lot of houses and a lot of snowflakes in there. So uh, this one's on probably 28 count, and I'm using the crescent threads. I think every thread I have, yes, is a crescent thread. So that's good. And um, this will not be a finish this year either. Mm, yeah. So, but it's so cute, and I look forward to stitching on it, you know, this year and next year. But, and to all, a good night. I like the way they finished it. It's kind of cute. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's go with our trivia questions for tomorrow. Hopefully, I can remember which ones I ask. Okay, in 1898, can Canada issued the first of these on Christmas Day. In 1898, Canada issued the first of these on Christmas Day. Okay, the next one. What does the T stand for in the song C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S? What does the T stand for in the song C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S? Forgot how to spell Christmas. Oh my goodness. So, I will um, be giving you the answers for those tomorrow. I'm excited about that. So, I um, hope all of you know the answers. I tell you, y'all are really smart. Uh, you know your Christmas trivia. Okay, now, we're going to open the Stitchy Box Day 9 gift today. And we'll see what we got. Oh, cute, cute, cute. It says, Merry Christmas Sticker. An extra bit of decoration to add to a special present or package. Too, too cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's put that in there. All right. And next we have Colorado Cross Stitcher, the familiar red and white polka dots. And this one is... This is her 12 Days of Christmas box. It's been a great, great box. It really has. Oh, how cute. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And you can either put this on your project bag, or it can be like a floss holder, or even maybe a keychain. Isn't that cute? Thank you. Thank you so much, Sherry. I love it. All right. Ooh, she has good boxes, too. Hmm. All right, last but not least, we have a box. Yes. Okay, so this is day nine. Oh dear, and I did not pre-use uh, my scissors to open or to, uh, yeah. So it's gonna be a minute. You may watch me shish kebab myself on video. Okay, I think I got it, so here we go. Usually I pre-do these things, but not peek, but yeah. Mm. Well, I hope they don't wrap my presents for Christmas. This would be terrible, it'd take me all day to get into them. Okay, well, that is some strong tape. All right. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh, look. 
It's a little box and it says cross stitch funds. How cute, it's a little bank. So I can put my extra pennies and things in here in quarters and save for cross stitch. I think that's a great idea. Mm, yes. Ooh, thank you. How fun is that? I always need another bank. Yes. Oh, there's something else in here too. Oh, and we have play money, cross stitch funds. <laughs> too fun. Oh my goodness. Boy, they printed a good bit. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Okay. Well, what a fun day. Okay, that was the nice list box from the Black Needle Society. Thank you so much, Catherine and sister. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have on a different color shirt, but I have a lot of blue shirts. I really do. And I hope you have a wonderful day stitching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.